All right, you either are one or you know one. Knuckle poppers. People who are always constantly cracking their knuckles, hearing that pop sound. I personally don't like it, but maybe you feel some level of uh, relief or catharsis from cracking your bones like a gross. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is something we've been trying to figure out for a long time, actually. Uh, scientists have been trying to figure out what exactly that pop is since the 1940s, and we still kind of don't know what it is. Uh, let's take a look at an ultrasound image of that uh, action actually occurring. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Gross. Oh my God. That's gross. Oh man, that's <laughs> happening in your body. Right. Some of you, most oh. of you. Um, so we're looking at research from the University of California, Davis, where uh, 40 subjects uh, were supposed to pull their knuckles a total of 400 times. 62 of those pulls resulted in cracks, pops, snapping. Uh, other <laughs> serial noises. Turns out the sound of a person cracking his or her knuckles is accompanied with a bright flash. That's what that was at the sure knuckle was. base at the metacarpophalangeal uh, joint, which is just at the right here, right at the bottom of your finger. Uh, so <laughs> that's a pocket of air. But there's there's two theories as to what's going on. Uh, one theory is that that is the formation of a gas bubble due to decreased pressure around the joints. Uh, the other one is that cracking your knuckles it actually causes the tiny uh, bubbles to burst. So is it creating them or is it destroying the bubbles? Either way, there's a bubble. Uh, and we're still <laughs> trying to figure that out, actually. Man. There's been a lot of evidence to support both theories. Right. It's not crystal clear which one it is. Right, right. I just I don't know what the bubbles are doing exactly and how the <laughs> bubbles are relieving. They're related to your joints. Yeah, like they're they're relieving like some sort of stiffness or pressure. Like how does that how does that that help you or how is that, you know, remotely healthy? I mean, I don't know. Like I thought I always thought bubbles in the body was a bad thing. Um <laughs> Not necessarily. I mean, we've got a lot of, we, you actually do have a lot of air in your body. Right. In various places that it's you true, may be but disgusted to find out. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> it, it all just sounds so weird to me. And I'm obviously, I'm not a it doctor, seems like so I don't know. The video, the ultrasound video we, we uh, looked at uh, did lend credence to the theory that it was forming bubbles mm -hmm. as opposed to destroying them. But, you know, still not crystal clear what's going on. Sure. Uh, there are some famously famous anecdotes about people cracking their knuckles and, uh, you know, their mothers or significant others saying that'll cause arthritis. And then oh, yeah. there was a doctor who proved that it does not cause arthritis. So we don't really know. Where the where or what is causing this <laughs> air bubble uh, explosion to occur? We don't know why this needs to happen, and I specifically don't know why people need to do this at all hours when they're near me because I do not like it. Yeah, I don't uh, audience, do you crack your knuckles, and what do you think is going on besides disgust in my heart? <laughs> Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.